about 130 grams of this wool this yarn I'm showing you this yarn worked together two strands worked together like that with a crochet hook number five millimeters Okay, so let's see the features of this yarn. This is the white one. And this is the blue one. Okay, we are going to do a magic ring to start like that. chain one and now into the magic ring I'm doing 12 12 half double crochet like that one two three and so on till I get 12 of that okay when you are ready you just have to close your ring pulling these two yarns and slip stitch to join inserting your hook into the first half double crochet and slip stitch like that this is your first round. Round two, chain two, one and two, which takes the place of the first double crochet into the same stitch, this very first one. You are going to do another double crochet. So now from here, you have to do double crochet two in each stitch all the way around so that from 12 you get 24 double crochet so into the next one double crochet two into the next one double crochet two one and two and now repeat repeat the same all the way around till the end of this round at the end of this second row slip stitch into the second chain you did at the beginning of this round slip stitch like that and your second round is completed now he from here chain one yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch and do one double crochet into the next one do two double crochet so one and two and now again into the next one just one double crochet one and into the next one now do two double crochet one and two now you have to go ahead like that just doing one two one two one two till the end of this round at the end of this round you have 
36 double crochet. At the end of this round, slip stitch this time into the first double crochet of this round, not the chain, but the first double crochet, like that. Okay, from this point on, we will always close this way, not in the chain, but into the first stitch of the round, okay? Ready for the round number four, chain one, and now double crochet one in each stitch all the way around. We are working into the same number of stitches, no increase at all. So just one double crochet and just one in every stitch all the way around. At the end of round four, you see your work looks like that. Never mind because uh, during the next round we will increase again and your head will become bigger. So don't worry if your work is bending like that. So now round five, chain one and now we have to increase after each two stitches. So one double crochet into the very first stitch, just one. Into the next one, just one double crochet. And now into the next one, increase. So double crochet two times into the same stitch. And you have to repeat that all the way around. One, one, two, one, one, two, and so on. At the end of this round, you have, you will get 48 double crochet. Again, one, one, and now two into the same stitch. One, and two. Okay? Increase after each two stitches. Round number six, no increase. You just have to repeat one double crochet in each double crochet of previous round. Totally 48 double crochet. Okay, for round six, we have to increase after each three stitches. So we start with chain one, then into the very first stitch, one double crochet, into the next one, one double crochet, into the next one, another double crochet one time. Now into the fourth stitch, I have to increase, so I'm going to do double crochet two times. One and two into the same stitch. And now I have to repeat that all the way around because after each three double crochet I have to increase. Let's see again. So just one one into the next one, into the next one, another one. And now into the next one, two, into the same stitch, one and two. Sorry. Now repeat, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, all the way around. Next round is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Round eight, we have to repeat the same increasing method. So we have to increase after each three stitches again. Chain one into the first one, just one double crochet into the next one, one into the next one, one, and now 
increase. Oh, sorry. In two double crochet into the same stitch. Repeat that all the way around. At the end of round eight, I have 75 stitches. At round nine, I have to repeat 75 double crochet. No increase at all from this round on. like that at the end of round one two three four five six seven eight nine i have a diameter of more or less 30.5 centimeters corresponding to 12 inches so if you are using a different yarn and hook size you have to reach this diameter 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters at round 10 or after you reach a diameter of 12 inches uh, from the next round you have to start decreasing at each round in this case i will do chain one sorry into the first stitch one single crochet into the next one one single crochet into the next one one single crochet and so now after each three three single crochet i have to decrease and how do i decrease in the following way so look at me insert your hook into the next stitch the fourth one pick up the yarn pull it through two loops on your hook now insert your hook into the next stitch the fifth one pick up the yarn pull it through three loops on your hook and now close finish this stitch yarn over and finish this single crochet so two single crochet finished together in this way you did your decrease you have to do that after each three single crochet one two three so bad three and now decrease one two together so you have to repeat that all the way around at the end of this row i have back 60 single crochet 60 stitches next row round 11 i have to do single crochet one in each stitch across the row i only have to decrease after each 10 single crochet okay so every uh, sorry after each nine single crochet sorry so i have to decrease on stitch number 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 at the end of this row i'll get 54 single crochet at round 11 i have to do single crochet in each stitch of previous round but i have to decrease five times so i will decrease on stitch number 10 20 30 40 and 50. in this way at the end of this uh, 11th round i have 55 single crochet now i'm showing you how to decrease for round 11 so chain one and now do 
one single crochet two three four five six seven eight nine now for stitch number 10 i have to do one decrease finishing two single crochet together so one and two finished together this is stitch number 10 i have to do the same on stitch number 20 30 40 and 50. in this wave at the end of round 11 i have from 60 single crochet to 55 single crochet round 12 chain one to start and now single crochet one in each stitch of previous round but doing each single crochet from the back to the front like that insert your hook into the stitch from the back to the front and now to the front to from the front to the back of the next stitch pick up the yarn pull it through like that two loops on your hook and now finished your single crochet like that i show you again from the back to the front from the front to the back pick up the yarn pull it through two loops on your hook and finish so you have to do that all the way around like that in this way ready for round 13 now i have to do the suzette stitch but inserting the hook always into the back loop of each stitch so chain one into the very first stitch inserting my hook only into the back loop of the stitch i'm doing single crochet one now yarn over into the same stitch double crochet one now skip the next stitch go into the next one inserting your hook into the back loop of only single crochet one and double crochet one skip the next stitch and repeat single crochet one double crochet one skip one stitch it's not okay sorry i repeat the double crochet skip one stitch and repeat so it's always the same all the way around for this round 13. at the end of this row you're gonna do a skip one stitch and into the last stitch of this round you're gonna do single crochet one double crochet one now you see you don't have any stitch to skip but it doesn't matter you are going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of this round like that and close your round in this way okay round 14 we have to repeat the suzette stitch into the back loop of the stitch so starting chain now into the same chain inserting your hook into the back loop do single crochet one double crochet one into the same stitch of course skip one stitch into the next one repeat single crochet double crochet skip one stitch into the next one repeat single crochet double crochet and so on 
all the way around. Like that. Okay, I did Suzette stitch in the back loop at round 13, 14, 15, 16. So this border with Suzette stitch is 6 cm high, 6 cm or 2.5 inches high. Okay, round 17 now. This is the end of my border, chain 1 and turn. And do single crochet 1 from the back to the front like that like we did at round 12 do you remember so you have to do the same stitch you did at round 12 single crochet from the back this way Okay, we are now at round 18. This is the last round and I changed my hook from 5 millimeters to 4 only for this last round. So now chain 1, go back into the pre you see the previous stitch on the back and do reverse single crochet in each stitch going back like that with your four millimeters crochet hook Bum 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 b